friend, please, sir, to come and take over. God bless you. Let's put our hands together. Um, good afternoon, all. Um, I don't know what to say. Maybe good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, uh, brothers and sisters. Um, we are from ARM. Uh, we are your pension fund administrator. Um, we are here to let you know and understand what is happening in the pension industry and what is um, um, happening to your to your account. I'm sure a lot of a lot of us have not uh, maybe seen our statement for a very long time. We have questions that have been bothering us, but we've not been able to ask those questions. Um, this is an opportunity to do that. Uh, our presentation is divided into two parts. Um, before I discuss the presentation, I'd like to introduce my team. And another thing is that actually I am the one to come here, but um, because of his um, very tight schedule, he couldn't make it, and um, so we are here representing him. Uh, my name is Sunday Ade Doyin. Volume. My name is Sunday Ade Doyin, and I have um, Funsho Adebajo, and I also have uh, Lanre. Um, we are here to take any question. And please, this is uh, your pension, like uh, the director said, your pension is for life. You can ask any question. Uh, I'm not saying we should close our Bible, but we can put it aside and, and take us on on any question that has been bothering us for a very long time. So she'll be taking the first part of the presentation while I come back to take the other part. The other part has to do with um, how do I get my money, which is the most important thing. I've been saving this money for... <laughs> I've been saving this money for a very long time. How will I get this money when I'm leaving, which is the reason for saving the money in the first place? The director said in, in, in advanced country, age 40... Age 45, age, age 50, people can decide to, to go on retirement. Can we do that in Nigeria? Will, allow, allow, will, will the law allow that? So this, those are issues we want to take on. And um, we'd like you to please answer, ask us any questions, and we'll be here to, um, to take your answers. Thank you very much. Before we get our system uh, back up, um, Pension Reform Act um, became a law in 2004, and from that time, people cont can contribute money. When you contribute money into a pension fund, it means a lot. It means you are saying, okay, ARM pension, I'm giving you the privilege of ensuring that in so, 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 and so number of years, my, my future will be okay. Well, and that, that means a lot. So it, we have a lot of responsibility on our part to ensure that we constantly follow up to know the status of that fund. It will not be good for us to just sit back. Uh, don't, uh, don't worry. I'm, I'm still, I'm, I will live in 20 years' time. So let, let me not bother about this now. In 20 years' time, I will go and see my PFA, and I will know. By that time, only God knows what will have happened. Do you, do you understand? Maybe you don't even have any account. So this is a very good opportunity for you to, to understand what pension scheme is all about. The benefit of it, the benefit of it, and how we can benefit from it. Now, in 2004, the law started. Now, contribution started from 2005 for private sectors, but for public sector, it started in 2005, July. From 2007, people have started getting money out of the system. So because the law states that if you are three years and above to retirement, you can join. But if you are less than three years to retirement, you don't need to join. 
Now, retirement age for different companies or different organizations differs. What retirement age for, for redeem, for example? Is seven, eh? Um, 70 for 60 for women. Good. So what that means is that if, we, for example, if I marry, if you are 67, 68, no, if you are 68, 69, 70, you, know, you are not supposed to join. If you are female, if you are 58, 59, 60, you are not supposed to, to join this scheme. But the good thing is that all of us here, we are, part of, we are in this scheme, we are supposed to be in this scheme, and contribution will be deducted every month. When we do this contribution, this contribution is paid into a custodian account. For ARM, a custodian is UBA custodian. So we pay this money to the custodian. We do we pay this money to the custodian. Then we go to the custodian, get this money, and process this money into your individual RSA. RSA, RSA means retirement savings account. So we process this money into that RSA every month. When that money hits your account, that's when you get your text message. And my friend here said, your text message has been reading 8,000 for, for how long? For long. Which pay for ARM? Pensure. That's Leadway Pensure. Uh, okay, I can't speak for Pensure, but I, I think it's your responsibility to find out what is wrong with your account. If you've been contributing since 2006, and you, you're quite, I'm sure your contribution is not 100, 100 or 200 naira every month. I'm sure it's more than that. <laughs> so definitely you have more than 8,000 in your account. So when this money gets to your account, Every month, we send you a text message. So, what kind of fund do we have? It's a mutual fund. Director spoke about mutual fund. What's mutual fund? Now, let me explain what mutual fund is. Mutual fund simply means you bring your money, I bring my money, she brings her money, we all have our money. Now we have one million from different people. Now, we have different stocks, we have different investments. We have investment in the stock market. We have investment in the, in the stock exchange. We have investment. We have um, uh, S, um, in real, we investment in real estate, which we are not allowed to do in pension. Now, mutual fund, we buy some stocks. We buy. We invest in some in bonds, in money market instruments. Now, we buy. We invest in all of this and bring them together. Remember, we got money from so many people, and we're investing in different instruments. Now, at the end of the day, every day, because pension, pension price, we value our price every day. At the end of every day, we must know the value of our investment, either in, 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 in the stock exchange, in the, in the banks, in the, in the money market. We must know the value of those investments. And whatever we have, we invest $1 million, whatever we have plus the interest. We now take what the number of people we have. We have like 10 people. For a start, we have 10 people. So we now divide by 10. So we now have units per individual. So Mr. A, we have so those are the number of units. If Mr. A buy two units, don't, don't forget, Mr. A have two units, Mr. B have three units, Mr. C have four units, Mr. D have five units. We add all, all these units together. We divide by our investments at the end of the day. So Mr. A will definitely have two times whatever we have per, per, per unit. If we have one million, we have 10 units. We divide by 10. So our per unit price is, is one million divided by 10. Do you understand? So Mr. I will have that times two for his unit. Mr. B will have that times three for his unit. So that's how mutual fund goes. Every day we keep valuing. We valued our investment. We determine the value of those investments and we divide by the number of units we have. So that is why your fund is in units. You have a question? Okay, sir. It's not coming up. Okay. The very essence of the Fund management is because of the antecedent of the past having regard to mismanagement in exactly. the provident fund and all exactly, that. Exactly, yeah. Now, I'd like to say that, um, I'd like to ask, against the, 
the explanation you have made, since mm. the trust fund is being invested, mm. what is the level of investment analysis you take into, into calculation before investing your money? You know, the global crash mm. in the stock market has a very serious telling effect in the world economy. Yes. Now, if you are investing money in the stock market, what is the level of your investment analysis before you make your investment okay. in any certain sector? Okay. Okay. I, I like to, that's a very good question. That is a very, very important question. Now, now no. before we invest in any company, there are ratings. Before we invest in any company, we have ratings. In fact, the first thing is that we have investment guidelines from National Pension Commission. National Pension Commission determines what kind of company you can invest in, the percentage of investment you can have in that company. In, even in, in stock market, you cannot invest more than 25% of, your, of the fund value in, in, in Nigerian stock exchange. You cannot invest more than 25%. You can, invite, you can invest less, but no more than 25%. And even those 25%, they, are, they must be written. They must be written for in those companies you are invested in. You can't just go and invest in an ABC company because my, my friend is the MD of that company in Shokoto. I go to Shokoto and invest in that company. And the next day, all the investment, no. You cannot do that. Every day, we send our investment report to National Pension Commission. They, they say it. They analyze it. If there's any problem, it, in fact, you are sanctioned. They are serious sanction. So you cannot just take money because my friend is the owner of this company. Let me go and invest in the company and we, and we push the money. No. They are serious sanction. We have investment guidelines. We have rules, strict rules and regulation that guides the investment of every fund. And for information, nobody can take one out of your fund without the knowledge of National Pension Commission. Yes, sir. Um, please, I want to find out something. Now, um, when I was working, uh, mm -hmm. okay, sir. Okay, when I was working with a firm before I came into Redeem, okay, now the I was operating premium pensions, okay. Now they send my quarterly accounts to me, okay. Then recently I came into Redeem, now they now I got to know. Mm before you guys came, of course, before now, that they are, I'm operating ARM. Now? Yes. Now, they called me from the office, your office, I don't know who called me. Okay. That the term printing, there was a problem. Okay. With the term printing. They had, I mean, they had pulled out, I don't know, maybe that may not be your problem. They had removed about two months Forest. before I got that information. Okay. And then they stopped, remo uh, I mean, removing the pension fund for that period until it was corrected. But they said... The person said they were going to get across to the office here. Mm. That was last month. Okay. When I got there, they, they told me to get to the office. I went there to the accounts department. Now, they told me that they had not brought the forms back to the office. Okay, for correction. For correction. Okay. Now, that's one, fee. Now, that's one phase. Now, now, another question I want to ask is, is it not possible that I can continue with premium, or is it that I'm going to transform my account in fact, let me just, let me just, if, I wanted to stop it before, but I just right. allow you to answer. In okay. fact, you don't need to open an account with ARM. All right. Since you have premium. Now, if you have a PFA that have given you pain before. Yes, sir. You don't need to open another account with any other PFA. Now, let me, let if, me, sir, sorry. Yes. Sorry to cut you. Now, okay. I told them. Yes. Even in the accounts department, that it is not right that you have a PFA and then you want to start with another PFA because you have, you have it's not supposed to be so. Not they said all. we should. There was a space there mm. that we should put our PIN numbers, which you already have from from premium. Good. Now they said we should put it on the ARM form, no. which I did. No, no, no. That's so I told them it was not. You, you can't open to. Or is it that I'm giving an instruction that the my account yeah. I, when I met them last, I told them that. I was going to tell you guys mm. to send whatever they were sending to you because they were insisting from the accounts department, maybe that's how they understand, that whatever money goes to you guys, we stay there. And then um, premium, we transform my account. No. So, you know, that's what I want to clarify. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work. Please, and, and, and this is one of the reasons for this forum. Please, you, are, you can only have one PIN number. You can only have one. If you, if the only, the only, in fact, the only reason why ARM can give you another pin is if they manipulate your data to get you another pin, which is, which is fraud. We are not even supposed to do it. You, if you have any, a PFA before, 
you have to stick to that PFA. Inform them in the account section that they, in fact, they should be making your contribution to your previous, to your to your PFA. You don't need to have two PFA. And if you have sent, if they've sent any money to ARM pension for you, we are going to return that money back to the account. We'll turn that money back to the account. The account can now forward that money to, to, your, to, your, to your PFA. Please, you can only have one pin. One. Thank you, sir. Hello, sir, please. Uh, my question goes thus. Okay. Since November 2008, okay. I've been registered uh, with uh, ARM. Okay. After due processing and everything, I've been given the certificate. In short, I was even given two certificates. No. But bearing the same pin number, everything. Okay. I know maybe that one is mistakenly okay. done or so. But now since that time, nothing has been shown in the account that I've paid any money. No text message, nothing, nothing. The only text message that was sent to me was, I mean, the pin number again. Now, even presently now, assessing the accounts now, even right here on the system now, the same thing. Before, there was no picture there, but now there is picture. But nothing is inside the account, and the money was, I mean, it's been deducted every month. So, so where the money is going to, I don't know. Okay, it's good. It's in fact. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you very much for the question. Um, now, please, we have presentation. Maybe at the end of the presentation, we just ask all our questions. But I will, I would like to answer your question before we conduct the presentation. Now, you are asking where you just realize that there's no money in your account. You share your, you share, you share your account via internet. There's no money in the account. You, you see there now, no money. And your money is being deducted every month. Okay. Do you have, do you have a pin? You, you have a pin? They've not evicted for him. Okay, since he joined 2008. Okay. We are going to look into that. We are going to look into it, please. Okay, please. We, please, let's, let's, let's confirm that. At all. You don't have pin. Okay, I, as I can see from the from the hall, we have interesting questions, and um, the presentation will be will be, okay, will, will, will be very interesting too. So, she will start with the presentation, and then we just at the end of the day, we like to we'll just take our questions. If you if you don't want to ask a question, you can just write down the question. So that we can take everything together. Thank you. Should we start now? Okay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Fusha Debaju, as my guys rightly introduced. Let me first define the new pension reform scheme to you. The basic reason why federal government introduced new pension reform scheme is because of the failure of NSITF. As many of us that have worked prior to joining Redeem, we all know National Social Insurance Trust Fund. It failed. All the people that contributed under NSITF, they could not access the fund as I went due, basically because it was government administered. And people see government in as national cake, you know, is a one way drive. But the dispensation we are in now is because of some patriotic Nigeria that were concerned about our retirees, they travel to developed country. Is this new pension we are using now that they are using over there? So what makes this new one different from National Social Insurance Trust Fund is that the new pension reform scheme is a private money scheme, just like NSITF. It's a contributory scheme. It's a scheme under a custodian, and it's a scheme under a regulatory body. You know, like banks now, is CBN that regulates them. Our own regulatory body is PENCON. Nigerian Pension Commission. They are the one that granted all the PFA license to operate as a pension fund administrator. We have custodians. Custodians, they are subsidiary of banks. Initially, when we started this new pension reform scheme, four custodians was licensed. But late last year, they've had that one. So right now, we are having five custodians. So each PFA, they are to choose one custodian. What's the duty of this custodian? They are the one that's been entrusted with the contribution that is going to come from your employer each month. UB ARM, as Malgan have said, ARM, we are using UBA. 
So when you open an account with us, we are going to generate your pay number. Then at the same time, we are going to generate your account number with UBA custodian. The government discovered the three basic reasons why federal government introduced new pension reform scheme. is because of the problem our retirees normally encounter. You know, they will have retired from work. When they're supposed to get their pay, they will be telling them all sorts of story. The government discovered that Nigeria does not have saving culture, you know, to encourage us to save towards our future. Then at the same time, there are some employers. They don't have retirement package for their staff. So those are the three basic reasons. And to ensure that when you retire from job, you get your money as a when due. So this industry that we are in today is highly regulated. I told you that our regulator is Nigerian Pension Commission. ARM is one of the PFA that the Redeemed Christian Church of God have selected to register their staff for this new pension. How does this new pension, how does it operate? It's a two-way operation. Employee, employer. You as an employee, you have a part to play. 7.5 is the regulated fee that's supposed to be deducted from your salary at the end of each month before you get paid. When your employer too will do 7.5%, making 15% that will be going to your retirement saving account every month. But in the case of Redeem, they are not doing the 7.5. They are doing more. You are doing less. At least you should be able to ascertain the percentage redeem is doing and the one that is being deducted from your own. What is stated in the act is 7.5 employee, employer 7.5, but redeem is doing more than 7.5. You are doing less. Our custodian have explained to you, it's something that will be done at the end of the month. So it's not a scheme that is optional, it's mandatory. So far you are a full staff of redeem, except you are on, on part-time or you are not pensionable. So those are the reasons that might make your salary or pension contribution not to be deducted from your salary. ARM Pension Managers is a subsidiary of ARM Investment established by Guaranteed Trust Bank as an asset management firm in the year 1994. When it comes to pension administration and management, that is our core business in ARM Investment. So it's a business we'll be handling before federal government came up with new pension reform scheme. So based on the experience and the expertise that we have, we tend our application to PENCON. The license should be given to us and at the end of the day, it was granted to us. Who are the people behind ARM Pension Manager? We have ARM Investment, as I've told you, our parent company. We have African Reinsurance. Let's see the beginning of the slide, the beginning. No, not the shareholders now. The beginning, start from the beginning. The age of 50. The essence of this scheme is you are saving towards the rainy day. Now you are agile. You can do German German, you know. Government want to encourage you to be saving something. So that by the time you attain retirement age, you will have something to fall back on. So it is stated in the act that you may not be able to assess your fund until you attain 50 years of age or except in case of mental or physical disability, which I pray myself, yourself, will not experience. Then you have to retire in accordance to the terms and condition of your employment. As we've, somebody raised a question, you know, my God told you that retirement age in redeem. They say woman is 60, while well, men, they are 70. So terms and condition of your employment, we as your PFA, we are bound to honor it. So whatsoever that is obtainable here, we are bound to honor it. Our shareholders are ARM Investment, Guaranteed Trust Assurance, African Reassurance, What's our function as your PFA? To open retirement saving account for you. We are to invest this money on your behalf. The industry that we operate, I've told you that is highly regulated. We are to invest and manage this pension fund on your behalf. We are to ensure that we maintain all books and of accounts or not transactions relating to pension fund under our management. Then we are to ensure that retirees get their dues as our when due. The dispensation we are in now, there is no story. Like all the people that federal government disengage, they're, not, they're on our payroll. They've taken the lump sum. Then on a monthly basis, they don't need to come to our office. We are crediting them to the tune of the amount they are entitled to. So I want to assure you that the security of this fund is guaranteed. So that's the essence why they... That's the you that GTA 
They've not consolidated with any insurance company. Basically because they have what it takes to stand on their own. We are not just dealing with any Aushia owners. Our director, we have Mr. Dejiali. We have Mr. Chris Okeke, that is our chairman. We have Mr. Emmanuel Ikazabo. We have Ms. Jumake Ogundare. We have Mr. Funsho Duati. Funsho Sorry? <laughs> but my guard introduced now that I am supposed to be here. Okay, you want to see their picture? Don't worry, don't worry. We will get that one across to you. So like my, like our pension now, ARM pension manager, Funsho Duati, maybe we'll be able to provide Funsho Duati for you. Funsho Duati is the managing director of ARM pension manager. He's our chief investment officer. He's a chartered financial analyst and he's a chartered accountant. As you are seeing us, we are excelling in pension industry today. It's because we have the like of Funsho Duati. Is the one that is investing the fund. And that's the reason why ARM has performed extremely well, you know, among other PFA. And these are all the things that people that register with ARM pension, they are enjoying. I've told you about our custodian that we are using UBA custodian. It is stated in the act that seven days after the payment of salary, your employer, they are to remit your contribution to your PFA. I've told you that we might not be able to go to all their profile. I just want to show you the, the logo of some organization that are on board with us. Before the new pension reform scheme, all these organizations that you are seeing their logo, we are the one managing their pension before federal government introduced new pension reform scheme. And as we've started new pension reform scheme, we've been able to register some of their staff. It's not as if we just come here, we'll be displaying their logo. They've authorized us that anytime we go out there for presentation, we can make mention of their name. You can see the like of this organization like MTN, like Slumbaja, like GT, like Dunlop, like Total, for this kind of organization to have entrusted us with their fund, you know. They've tested us and we've even proved beyond their expectation. So those are the basics. Sorry? Your logo. Your own is there. Now, we cannot mention everything. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. When next I come for update presentation, you will have added your own. We can't capture everything. Sorry? <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm assuring you, at least I'm promising you, I will add your own. So let's go to the next slide. So... On how you are going to assess your fund, my organ will handle that one. So at the end of the month, when you, hello, am I communicating? I'm not communicating. Why now? <laughs> because we, because we didn't see redeem logo. Don't worry, we are one. I'm a redeemer. I'm a dickiness. <laughs> Rivers of life. Province 23. Hello, let's continue. Let's continue, please. Let's continue. What do we do with your money? I've told you that the industry where we operate is highly regulated. We are to invest this your fund in fixed income. What are the categories of fixed income we can do? You know, fixed income as a as a, a, a you know the risk. Why you want to talk of the risk? Is a risk-free area. When you are investing in fixed income, it has a guarantee return. You know, it's a contractual agreement. You know what you are likely to get at the expiration of your contract with whosoever you are doing the fixed income with. The categories of fixed income we are to do, they are the like of government bonds, quarter bond, corporate bond. Then we cannot do more than 25% in equity. We all know what is happening in the stock exchange market today now. Though at the initial stage we were affected, but now our unit price is now on a, on a steady and stable level. Everything has come back to its normal position. But what makes ARM different from other PFA is that we don't invest anyhow. You know, fixed income has a guarantee return. While the equity can do 200%, it can do 300%. But by the time it will come down, you know, it will come down beyond even your own expectation. But in, in ARM pension, we have professionals. We have the expertise. For us to do any categories of investment at any point in time. We don't just invest in any our equities. We look at the fundamentals of that organization. How are they performing? 
When you talk of dividend, are they declaring dividend on a consistent basis? All these things we are going to take into consideration before we invest. As many of us that we invest in stocks, you know, there are some stocks now they've delisted it on stock exchange. So that is the area where you need the expert, the professional to undo your pension, which ARM happens to be one of the best fund managers that know how to trade or invest your money at any point in time. I've told you the area where we invest the, the money. On a monthly basis, when we get remittance from your employer, we are to alert you on your phone. We send you transaction notification that we've received also amount of money for so so, so month, then we tell you the balance you have in your account. On a quarterly basis, we have to issue a statement of account, at least for you to be able to monitor your account, whether something is being added or your PFA is running at a loss. These are all the information you'll be able to ascertain when you get your statement on a quarterly basis. But the problem we encounter with Redeem is that all the people that register with ARM pension, most of them, they are putting a booty meta. Even somebody that is in Calabar, we put a booty meta, and at the end of the day, they will complain that they did not get the statement. How do you want to get it? Is that organization address that we capture? That's the one that we used to send all your correspondence to. But in the case of here, they all put a booty meta. So if you go to a booty meta now, you will see statement of account there. They do bring it during the Holy Ghost services. At the end of the day, people will not come around to come and claim their statement. So all the issues that you've not had anything, then there are some people at the point we register them. They are using a particular phone number. When the phone got lost, you need to intimate us that you've changed your number so that we'll be able to change the old number on our database. If you are still having the old number, you will discover that your colleagues they are receiving transaction notification. You might not be able to get, basically because we still have the old number on our database. So our statement, you will see a, lift, a leaflet underneath, whereby you need to furnish us with any changes in your personal detail. Is it phone that you've lost, you are using another one? You need to communicate to us. Is it your, rest, uh, your house address that have changed? You need to communicate is it your province? They've moved it from one province to the other. These are all the information you have to give to us. You can log on to our site. If you don't have, the, if you don't have access to the form, you know, you log on to info at armpension.com. You send mail to us that formerly you are so-so province. Now they, you've relocated to another province so that we'll be able to regularize your information on our database. But, you know, the reverse is the case. So those are the reasons why you are not getting the necessary thing from ARM pension. When you talk of quality service delivery, we are there. We've been doing it, and we continue to do it, and we will continue to improve on our service delivery. So all this information, I want to plead with you that you need to supply all this thing to us. So per venture, you are not seeing anything on your phone. Maybe you've not received statement of account, or you've not received any transaction notification. There are some accounts that are still awaiting funding. You know, we've sent the list to them, which we believe that very shortly, they are going to release all those funds. Then you, somebody, that, somebody asks a question that is having 8,000 in his account. You need to send us a mail. It's something you can call our call center that you want to know, hello, should I stop? We are here because of you, so let's get this thing done very well. Lo. So prevention, the balance you are seeing on your account, you are not sure. Or you are doubting that your money is supposed to be more than this. You can send a mail to us or you call our call center. We'll be able to tell you the period they've remitted last and the month that they've remitted for you. Like somebody that said he saw 8,000, maybe he's expecting like 100,000 and he's seen 8,000. When you call up, because it is what they remit that we are going to process. We pick the check from them, we lodge the check with the custodian, we process the fund. After processing the fund, they send us a schedule. So it's the shadow they give us because the shadow must tally with the payment. So it's the shadow they give us that we are going to use to credit you accordingly. If they remit 100,000 for you, you can't be expecting 200,000 from us. Is that 100,000 they remitted for you that we are going to credit you? So that is how the system goes, you know. It's what we garbage in. Sorry? Sure, now there is interest now. I've told you the categories of investment we do. You know, 2006, the seven PFA that got the license, we are, we are asked to, be, to use unitization basis. That is, on a daily basis, we are to value your investment contribution. And as of 2006, the seven PFA that got the license, we started at one naira. And as of this morning, our unit price is 170. 
That means we've done 70 kobo on one naira, which is a lot of money. So, per eventual, let me just give you an example. Maybe by last week, the redeem remitted for you. And the fund as of last week was 150. And today is 170. At least you'll be able to ascertain how much money will have been added to your contribution. You know, on a compound rates like that, just like stocks. Now, why are you investing in stock? It's for capital appreciation. So by tomorrow, the price might, might increase to 171. You know, that's how it continue going. So you'll be able to know that you are not at a loss. Then there is administrative fee. Because per venture, maybe we did not present to you. Because some people have been saying that they don't even know what this pension is all about. That they were not, you know, there wasn't any presentation. So we, are, we came here, you know, to enlighten you so that you go to your region and at the same time, whenever your staff come around for pension issues, you know, you'll be able to handle it and address it accordingly. We charge 100 Naira admin fee on a monthly basis. Then we have management fee too. So the... The director, the people in charge of account, the committee, at least they did a thorough job for them before they come to conclusion that they are selecting so-so and so-so PFA. So definitely you are going to get to return on your money. And that's where you can even assess PFA from PFA. Because in the industry today, ARM pension manager, we have the highest unit price. Our unit price at this morning is 170. And that's the highest among all the PFA. So all this information I'm giving you, you can verify it. Just a matter of you, you log on to our site, www.armpension.com, for you to be able to verify all these things that I'm giving to you. Why ARM Pension Manager? In ARM Pension Manager, we are client focused. We have first class relationship management. We have shareholders, credible shareholders with strong industry track record. These are all the things that you'll be enjoying with, from us, and you will continue to enjoy with us. So like my brother that asked question last, the person that asked question last, I was the person that called him. You know, we discovered that when people feel form, they don't feel it correctly. That the thumb print, they don't do it very well. Because we are not the one generating pain. It's our regulator, Pencon. They are the one that owns the data bank. They are the one that generates pain. Ours is to process the form, scan it, send it to Pencon data bank. So when form come back with error, that's when you discover that you feel form, you could not generate pin for you because it has some print problem. So we have a standard part which we've given to them in account. And account made me to understand that they do advise you just to do the feeling when you come to them for thumb print, but people will just, you know, they will just use virus, scratch their thumb and place it. And by the time they submit the form to us, it will come back with error. So you need to adhere to their advice if you want to get your pin. So those are the issues that we are having. Then it's key that whosoever PFA you have registered with, you should be able, if anybody asks to say which PFA did you register with, you should be able to know the PFA you register with. Pension contribution is your retirement package. And that is something that the church have put in place. So that when you leave the job, you have something to fall back on. Then eventually you are leaving redeem for another job. You are, can't move with you. It continues with another. Maybe Chevron employ you now. And you are asking what is going to happen to your contribution with redeem. You are, can't move with you to Chevron. It's not left for you to call us or to send us a mail that you are now with another employer. Whereby we will now send a change of employment form for you. You will now fill it with your current employer. So that your correspondent will no longer reflect redeem. But it starts reflecting Chevron. So these are all the things that you are going to enjoy with this new scheme. Then the brother that said he registered with Premium. All PFA, we are under the regulatory body of Pencon. So the account is supposed to continue. It's one pin per person. Not that today you collect form, today you get pin. Tomorrow, the next Holy Ghost will come, you collect form, you get pin. It doesn't go like that. You're supposed to fill this form once, and that's all. Except you are unable to get pin number. That is the time you now request for another form. Maybe you have issue, or you sign the back. And the way we design our form, anybody that collects ARM form, you are to sign the front, then you turn it back, you sign the back. What we discovered was that people will just sign the front, they will not sign the back. And at the end of the day, we return the form back to the pension officer. So these are all the issues that we do experience from our clients. I think I've been as brief as possible. So 
on how when you can assess your phone. I will call my ogre to come and to come and undo that one. But for what I've presented to you, if you have any question, please ask before my ogre come on board. That's the regulated fee, hundred naira. Yes, that's what OPFA charge. Sorry. Where did you get that one? Come down to 1.6. The PFC, we prorate it down now. It's per annum. 1.6 is per annum. But it can be prorated down on a monthly basis. The custodian, they charge 0 0.4. That's custodian. Then the regulator, they charge 0 0.25. So when you add the three together, you get 2.25. Then admin fee, 100 naira. These are all the things you'll be able to see on your statements. It's regulated. It's not that we just decide that we want to be charging 1.6, 0.4. It's not like that. It's from PENCON. It's stated in the act. They just discounted. Initially, we were charging, we were charging 2% before they discounted to that amount. So please, perventure we have people here. You've not registered and they are deducting your money. We have our forms here with us so that you'll be able to pick the form. When, uh, okay, okay, I heard your question. I want to assure you that I can't, at least we are working hand in hand. When it comes to remittance, you know, they have a bulk of, of jobs that they are doing there. Do you understand? At least for the past two weeks now, I've tried to give them the updated list so that they will know people, because there are some people that they've not funded for at all. Because late last year, they just recruited new people. So that categories of people, I can't, we don't have time to be saying that on a monthly basis, they want to be doing this, they want to be doing that, you understand? So they want to get the comprehensive list. They requested for it, and we gave them last week. So anytime from now, the backlog, you are going to get the backlog. But whatsoever thing you are seeing on your on your phone or on your statement. If it does not show, what you are going to see on your statement is the last remittance. You will see a column for the month they are remitting for. You will see a column employee. You will see another column employer. Redeem has been faithful. They've never defaulted one day. And I know that they will not default. So it's not left to you as you as an employee. Pension is key. When you leave this job, it's the only thing. I don't know if they have any other in-house arrangement for you, but you need to, men to monitor your pension. Know what is happening to your pension. Like what our director said, you should not just be keeping quiet. You don't understand. Somebody will be, will be there for five years. You've not had anything about your pension. You're just holding your hand. By the time you say you want to retire, they will not even have time to attend to you. But they expected you to have taken a bold step, you know, to have addressed the issue. So going forward, I want us to take this pension deduction seriously if you don't have pin number get a form fill it properly get your pin then after getting your pin be in touch with the account or you can call us or you can send us a mail for you to know if they remitted or not for you then if they've not remitted for you when you come around for holy ghost services you can walk in there ask them that was the status of your pension account they'll be able to tell you so far you are not creating problem for them so I want to say thank you very much. Okay, you have sorry? My guy is still coming now. What's your question? Do you have a question for me? What's the question? Okay. Hello. More than seven point five sphere mm -hmm. and we are contributing seven point five percent. Yes. Le less, okay. The balance, sorry. In the course of that, at the end of the day, if someone retires at the age of 70, for instance, mm. with this mission, and uh, you were able to save, let's say, 3 million, and uh, with the advice of the nutritionist now. Nutritionist? Yes, that at the age of uh, 40 or 45, don't eat meat, <laughs> don't eat sugar. It means it is possible. Life expectancy can be 120 years. 
Now, from that 70 to 120, we see how 50 years there. How will it be convenient for me to spend three million? And my guy will undo that one during his own <laughs> during his own session. Hello, let me just add this one for you. Hello. One thing I want to add now. As many of us, hello. Hello. Please, as many of us that contributed under NSITF, they are transferring your fund now. Your money is not lost. But you have to do one thing for us. You have to tender your membership, NSITF membership certificate. Then we give you a form to fill for this form to be transferred to this your new pension. Then you as a person should be able to ascertain if you have money there. Because we've experienced that there are some people that have given us certificate. By the time we send it for the account to be transferred, we were told that the employer has not remitted anything for them. The account was empty. So in that wise, we cannot transfer their fund. So if you contribute under NSITF, we are going to give you a form to fill that you are going to attach your NSITF membership certificate. Except you are not given at the point of registration. If you are not given any certificate, you are going to do a court affidavit. Then the church too will usually issue a letter of indemnify, you know. Church has to indemnify, then at the same time, identify that this person is a staff of redeemed Christian Church of God. So NPF, NSITF contribution is not lost. It's something we can help you transfer. Then you can do additional contribution. If you look at your pension contribution that is not substantial, that you want to add something, there is room for you to do additional contribution. We call it voluntary contribution, but it has to be via your salary. And it's for a duration of five years. If you allow the account to stay for five years, it's tax exempt. But if you want to collect before five years, they are going to tax the, it's liable to tax. So I want to say thank you very much. So let me give you my phone number for those people that register with ERM pension. By eventually you have any issues that you want me to address. You know my name now. My name is Funsho Adebaju. So my phone number is 080 080 35 76 080-35-76-9336. Our call center number, 01-271-5000. 01-271-5000 or 01-271-5057. My email address, funsho.adebaju, F-U-N-S-O dot adebaju, A-D-E-B-A-J-O at armpension.com then our info info at armpension.com <laughs> okay my telephone number should come again 08035769336 my email address funso f u n s o dot Adebaju, A D E B A J O, at armpension.com. Our info, info. Okay, this is my brother, we assist me so that you'll be able to see it. Info at armpension.com. You can send us mail. So, I believe I'm done with you. So, as many people that have not filled form, we are much around. Sorry? 5769336 Listen to me or don't listen to him. 080 uh -huh. Don't let him confuse you. 35769336 For sure Adebaju. You got my email address. Then our info too. So you can send any mail to us on our info info 
at armpension.com. So we are seeing much around. We have our forms. As many of you that have not registered, we get you registered and get you your pay. Then you can access your account online. If you send me a mail, I'm going to send you your user's name so that you'll be able to access your account online. Thank you very much. God bless you. So thank you very much. Now, the, the short aspect, the very short one, we are, we're going to briefly discuss how do I get my money. I love that question. Um, he said he's retiring at 70 and he's planning to live till 120 or 150. So <laughs> how will he spend 3 million? That's a very, very interesting question. Um, hmm. How will you spend three million? When we get there, we, we discuss it. But um, now, there are, there are, there are basic um, uh, facts about withdrawal. I will just. Okay. I think my key is there. Okay. So, sir. Now, or retirement, or exit from, from service that we all need to know. The Pension Reform Act recognizes retirement age as 50 years. So from age 50, if you live, redeem, the Pension Reform Act recognizes that you are retired. So if you are 50, what this means is that at age 50, if you are terminated, if you resign, if you retire, if there's a, well, um, right-sizing, downsizing, or upsizing, or anything, from age 50, it is assumed you have retired. Then you are entitled to full retirement benefit. Full retirement benefit. I will explain what that benefit is later. Now, if at less than age 50, if you leave redeem, at less than age 50, maybe you are terminated, um, resignation, or retirement, voluntary retirement before age 50, you will be able to take 25% of what you have in your account after six months of not getting another employment. You are able to take 25% or whatever you have in your account after six months of not getting another employment, less than 50 now. For more than 50, you'll be entitled to full retirement benefit. But if you're less than 50, you will not be able to get everything in your account or entitled to full retirement benefit, but you'll be able to take 25% of whatever you have in that account. Now, for 50 and above, let's discuss that. Because I don't, I don't see anybody living Less, I'd say less than 50. Let's discuss from age 50 and above. <laughs> so from age 50 and above, what is full retirement benefit? Now, full retirement benefit means that you will be able to get lump sum. The old law is where you have gratuity and pension. That law has been abolished, destroyed by the new pension reform of 2004. Under the new law now, you'll be able to get something they call lump sum. Lump sum, and I will explain what lump sum means, and you, also, you are entitled to something they call programmed withdrawal. Program withdrawal is what replaces our old pension, and lump sum is what replaces old gratuity. Now, what is lump sum? Lump sum is a percentage of whatever you have in your account. The program withdrawal is the breakdown of what you have left after taking the lump sum, whatever, whatever you have left after taking the lump sum, broken down into monthly or quarterly payment. That is program withdrawal. Now, what does the law say about program withdrawal and lump sum? This is what the law says. The law says that you can only get a lump sum. You can only, you are only entitled to a lump sum provided that what you have in your account after making provision for 
of your last salary for at least the next 18 years. I'll come back again. You can only get a lump sum provided that what you have in your account after making provision for 50% of your last salary for, the ne for at least the next 18 years. There's still money after making provision for 50% of, for for of your last salary for at least the next 18 years. If I have a shock, I would allowed to write that, but I don't just, just, you understand? Now, so that is when you can get a lump sum. So what that means, my brother, if you have three million in your account, and for example, your last salary is, say, 100,000, what the law says is that we should make provision of 50% of your last salary. So we make provision for 50% of your last salary, which is 50,000 times 12, times 18. But because now, it won't, it, it won't work like that, 50 times 12 times 18. Because if you multiply that, you probably get more than, five, more than 3 million. But it won't work like that because there are some discounting we, we do. What we do is we calculate the present value of, of that money, of that 50, 50,000 for the next 18 years, we calculate the present value. So present value, we make it less than what it would ordinarily be if you multiply. If I multiply 50 times 18 times 12, maybe it will give me 5 million. And if, I, if I do my discounting, it can give me 2.5 million. So what we need to make provision for is the 2.5 million today. So we make provision for 2.5 million now that will, that will allow to service that 50,000 50, for the next 18 years. So the balance after making that provision is what you can take as long sum. For a lot of people, that balance will be zero. That's the truth. I'll be very, I'll, be, I'll, I'll, I'll just tell you the way it is. For a lot of people, that balance will be zero. In fact, for a lot of people, that, the, the amount in that account will not be able to fund 50% of that last salary for the next, at least the next 18 years. That's the truth. Because as PFA, we are not money doublers. We won't give you what we don't have. What the law says is that we get this contribution from you every month and we should invest that money in a very, 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 very productive way. It does not mean that because I want to give you very good interest now. I take your money to um, what, one, these Wonder Banks. Do you understand? I, if I take your money to Wonder Banks by now, you know that money is gone. Eh? I won't, I won't take it to a Wonder Bank, for example, that will give me 150% or 2 or 100%. In fact, if you, if, if, if you look at our presentation, that Funjo presentation, the only, the only investment that will give you more than the rate of inflation in Nigeria today is the Nigerian Stock Exchange. That's the only place you can invest your money and you can get a rate that is above inflation rate. Inflation rate in Nigeria today is about 14%. So the only, the only place you can invest your money over time in the long run, that can give you anything above inflation rate is the Nigeria Stock Exchange. If you invest in the bank, there's no bank. The maximum a bank will give you now, now, is like 3% or 4%. In this Sanusi, in this, uh, what's, what's the name of this Sanusi? Sanusi already crashed the interest rate in the bank. They, are, they give you 2, 3%, 4%, 5% now. In the long run, the only place you can invest that money is the Nigeria Stock Exchange that will give you something above inflation rate. And as ARM, that is what, that's our target. Pension fund money are not money you invest today and you get next week. They are money that should be invested over 20, 30 years. And since we recognize that, so we put this money in, in, Nigeria, stock, in Nigeria Stock Exchange. And if you see our fund price, if I watch it told you, it's 1.70. When I was checking with my brother there, the, the, the fund price already 1.7136. So it's, it's growing by the day. Is growing by the day. So if you have your money with TRM, it's a very, very good investment. Now, I've discussed lump sum, and I also discussed program withdrawal. Now, how can I get this money out? Like I said, if you are terminated, if you resign, if you, and, um, and you are less than 50, after six months of not getting another employment, you can come to us, 
and we give you 25% of whatever you have in your account. If you are more than 50, if you are more than 50, from 50 years and above, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and you retire and you come to us, you are entitled to full retirement benefit. What's a full retirement benefit? Is lump sum and programmed withdrawal. Now, I said something about 50%. Now, we realize that a lot of people in Nigeria, after making provision for 50%, they are not getting any money. Now, National Bank Commission now sent a letter to us that you can they will now revise it. The revise is that regardless of what happens, if, we, if you, you, can, you are entitled to 25% of whatever you have in your account, regardless of the situation, either that the balance cannot fund 50% to, or can fund 50%, you take 25% as lump sum, regardless of the situation. So if you come to me now, you retire, you have 4 million in your account, I will give you 1 million as lump sum, regardless of what your salary is, regardless of either you can fund 50% or not. So the balance is what we now spread over at least the next 18 years. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? Okay. Now, 50%. It's possible you get 50%. It depends on what you have in your account. Interestingly, there are some people that have so much money in their account, they are entitled to 70%, but won't give it to them. The law restricts what we can give to you as maximum 50%. If you have very, very good money in your account, you know, this money is like 20 million or, or thereabouts, and you are living, you can get up to 60%, but the law says you cannot give one at 50%. You are entitled to 10, 10 million as a maximum. Now, how can you increase what you have in your account? They, you can do something they call AVC. AVC is additional voluntary contribution. Aside what Redeem is doing for you, you can start adding your own money into, into whatever you have in your account. Remember, the director said it. And I, in fact, I learned, I learned a lot. If you have, if, at, if I said that 10% of your, of your salary for, say, 20, 30 years, by the time you are 50, 60, you have a lot of money in your account, regardless of the rate they are giving to you. You have so much money. So you can decide to start having additional money to whatever you have in your account. It's, it's called additional voluntary contribution. But you have to inform Redeem to make a deduction from your salary. The money must come from your employer, not from any individual. Individual cannot just come now and say, I want to invest in Nigeria in, 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 pension, in the pension fund. We will not take that. Every money must come through an employer. So at retirement, how do we do it? We send your, you send your paper to us. We send these papers to National Pension Commission who give us approval to touch your account. No PFA can touch your account without National Pension Commission's approval. We get approval from them to pay money from your account. We must always get that, that approval from them. The required documents are very easy. We, we need, when you are leaving, we need your letter of retirement, your letter of termination. We will need your last pay slip. We need to passport photographs. We let you know all these things. And we need to, to get back to redeem, to confirm. We always get back to redeem, to confirm. We, con we get back to redeem, asking them, are they still owing you any money? For example, for some of you now, the last contribution they sent for you is at June 2009. And you, if you leave now, we write a letter back to Redeem to confirm. Please, so 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 person has retired. I want you to please check your systems. If you, if you, if you still have any money that is hanging anywhere there. If they have any money, they send that money back to us. We add it to what is in your account before we do our calculations. So that's, bas that's basically how you can withdraw your money from the scheme. We like to take any questions, any, any questions you have for us now, we'll be willing to take them. Is, is the slide. Okay. One, two. You want to fill it now? Can they fill it now? Okay. Form, form, okay, form. Okay, is there? Okay. okay, yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good I afternoon. want you to please uh, reemphasize the issue of somebody having an account before. Okay. With a pension uh, manager. Okay. And now it's changing. I mean, from another job to so, a new job. Okay. 
and he has some contribution he has been making over the years. Okay, okay. What is the right step? Because we have been told that we should put in our former number on the new on the new uh, form. Okay, no, it's not and like we've that. We've done that. So it's what not, do we do? It's not like that, please. If you have a pain. Although we're in the business, we, are, we have competitors. All the, all, the, all the other PFAs are competitors. That does not mean we should do the wrong thing. The right thing is that if you have a pain once, that is the pain you have to carry for life. You are not supposed to open another account with another PFA, either ARM or any other PFA. Please inform the account section to send your contribution to that your, your old PFA, please. That is the, that what the law says. That is the law. Please, inform account section that that is the law. We are not here to take other people's business. Please, that, be, that contribution should still go to them. Yes, ma'am? Praise the Lord. She said something about NSIT. Sorry. We are not, we, um, your PFA can help you get your money from NSITF. When, when the law started, the law gave NSIT five years to wind up and pay back money to, who, who, to everybody whose money they've deducted. So that money, they are refunding that money into your PFA now. So you need to contact your PFA so that they can help you get that money from NSITF. NSITF, they are now trust fund. Because you have NSITF does not mean you have a PFA. Or even though they are trust fund now, that doesn't mean that's your PFA. Your NSITF money is different from your pension contribution money. Your PFA can help you get that money from trust fund. Praise the Lord. Uh, my question, but uh, I have two questions. The first one has to do with the return or the effect of crash in the investment market okay. over your pension fund. Okay. Like where my wife works, when there was a crash in the stock market, they started sending text messages to her that your balance is a so-so amount. It was now reducing from a certain amount. And every month, they kept on sending this text message. And this thing, was, uh, this thing kept on reducing. Now, we began to wonder and say, okay, if there is a crash in the market, yeah. why do they continue to still invest the money? In the market? That, in the market. Okay. That's the first one. The second one is uh, if you have an existing uh, PFA and you misplace your uh, PIN code, mm -hmm. are you going to get the PIN code through P PENCOM or through your PFA? You can get it through your PFA. That's a very straightforward question. Okay. You can call your PFA that you, 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 they will ask you questions, security questions, maybe your date of birth, uh, your address, your phone, okay. telephone number. Then based on that, they can give you your, your, your PIN. Then the first question, you said... Um, the investment was going down. For every PFA, the investment, the investment was going down for a particular period of time. If you look at the graph, the graph went down. But now, if that PFA is sending you a text that that, that money is still going down, then there's a problem. Because that money, in fact, it has picked up. As I when the money was going down, the money was about 1.30 or 1.14. Now it's 1.71. So it's going up now. So there's no PFA that can be sending you that the investment is going down. When there was a crash, everybody suffered it. If you have, if you, in fact, First Bank, a lot of us bought First Bank shares at 33 Naira, thinking the next six months it'll be 100 Naira, and we can quickly cash in. First Bank, First Bank shares is, is how much now? So it, it, it affected all of us. We, all, we also, we, we, we bought shares for the fund, uh, but now, thing has picked up because we have been able to leverage over time. And that's the beauty of the pension, or, 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 the, or, the, or the pension fund. Because it's not, it's not a fund that you need in six months. It's, 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 it's not a savings account. It is an account that you need for the next 20, 30 years. So, you can imagine what the return will be in the next 20 and 30 years. And that question, sir. Okay, there's, 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 there's one... Please, the mic, mic. Okay.
Please, I would like you to throw more light on the voluntary contribution. Okay. That's the first okay. question. Then the second one. Uh, my own uh, PFA is mm. IBTC. Okay. Uh, and since uh, it's the same industry, maybe you could just advise me. Mm. Um, my former employers that I left in uh, 2006. Okay. And from the year the this new act mm. began, yeah, 2004, yeah. they've been making deductions from my salary. And then when I came here, and then last year, I went online to check, and I discovered they had not made, they had not remitted. Okay, or there was no reflection of the, or the for, of oh, yeah, our, on my account. Okay. Yes, on my account. Now, um, is there any way pension, uh, PENCOM, can, is there a penalty for this? Can they, can this... Employers who don't remit when they are supposed to remit, yes, and they be be brought to book. Yes, yes. Because because I know that um, for the period that you deny, the, you don't re, uh, return my, you don't do the remittance. You are you, you are, have you denied are money. me yeah. investment that should have come to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is there any penalty for it? Yeah, there is. There is. And um, can I report such organization yes. to Pencom? Yes, yes. Okay. Then can I also report to my PFA mm. and tell them that my former employers or present employers mm. did not remit. Why so not? what can happen? You can do that. And your PFA is their responsibility to follow up to ensure that money gets into your account. And if there's any reason why you are not getting that money, it's the PFA responsibility to communicate back to you the reason why you are not getting that money so that you can follow. Interestingly, you are the best person to follow up on all these things. But the PFA can give you the information required so that you can go back to your employer and tell them, this is what I get from my PFA. Like my friend there, I just called the office. He says in 2008, his money had been deducted. I called the office so that they can check. And we realized that, in fact, maybe he's part of the people, the new list that we just sent to, to the account session now. There's, there, there's not been any contribution for him from inception till now. It's possible we have cases like that. So, but we, it's our responsibility to follow up with the employer to ensure that his account is credited. And we're already doing that. Now, okay. let me go back on the AVC. Yeah, the on the additional voluntary contribution. Yeah. The additional voluntary contribution is what you feel you can add to what you, currently, you are currently doing now. Re okay, yourself and redeem, you are doing 15% now. You can either say, okay, let me add 5% to it. So, 5% of my salary will be deducted. And there are benefits. The benefit is that that 5% will not be taxed. If your salary that is taxed before is 35,000, hmm? and you now decide that you want to be taking, you, you want to be taking 5% aside as your pension, eh? they will deduct that 5,000 before they tax your salary. That means your tax will go down, and that money will be invested for you. Now, the tax you are, the tax they are not deducting now. If you want to, you can, the good thing about that additional voluntary contribution is that you can take it any time before five years. But if you are taking it any time before five years, the tax you are losing now will be deducted when you are taking it. But if it is more than five years, you start free. So the benefit is that if you, had, if, you, if you had that additional money, your tax will go down now. If you save that money for more than five years, no tax at all. So it's just an additional, and it's more. It, 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 it's, it's, not, it's not what you can just do on your own. Okay, I have my check. Let me send it to, to ARM. No, it must come through your employer. The reason for this is that we don't want anybody who has stolen money from anywhere. Just give us a check, one billion. Let me invest it. No, it must come through an employer that is registered with CAC, and we can trace that employer to know where they're making their money from. One more thing, sir. Okay, sir. My former employers. Uh, made deductions from my salary before the new the cos commencement of the new okay. uh, act. Okay. Uh, that's, and that's under NSITF. Yes. Okay. We, I wasn't given any certificate for that because um, the lady who took the presentation, okay. the first one, exactly. said something we, about. We can we can uh, help you with that. We okay. can help you with that. Contact your PFA. Interestingly, we are not your PFA, and I can't hold brief for IBTC. Do you understand? But contact your PFA. Uh, that you have NSITF contribution, and they will tell you the step you need to take to get that money. Even though that money is 500 naira, 1,000 naira, 2,000 naira, it is your money. 
Please, ensure you get that money from them. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. I, if I understand the whole thing, yeah. the, the bottom line is that someone should have a good life after retirement. Exactly, sir. Now, you're putting about 20, 30 years in the service, and then you have saved for that period of time. Yes. Then, on your retirement, you are entitled to 25% as lump sum. Minimum. Minimum. Yes. And then they now spread the rest for another 18 years. At least 18 years. Now, let's assume you retired at the age of 70. Okay. That means... That, wait, wait, wait. If I resume at, if I retire at the age of 70, All right. it will not be up to 18 years. Because, because that's, I, I, that is what I'm thinking. Because I, there it, should be an error it, in that policy. I'm coming, please, okay. sir. Now, the... the the youthful, the youthfulness of the of the retiree has already been expended. Yes, and what he is expected to be doing after retirement is just to enjoy the rest of his life, and then the benefit is being spread for another long years. Is it supposed to be his beneficiaries that will enjoy his pension after he's gone or something? Okay. Um, okay, I understand your question. There are actually different ways of looking at this thing, eh? What he's saying now is that, for me, after retiring at age 70, why don't you give me your mo my money and let me just go and spend it? If it's one week I can spend, let me finish it. And another person is saying he wants to live for the next 120 years. And he wants his money to be spread for the next 50 years. Do you understand? There, there are different ways of doing this. And that's why when we have different or divergent, divergent view like this, that's why we have law. The law is to make sure you have your views this way, this guy have his view this way. We have a law at the center. Bring your view here. Bring your own here. This is the way. What the law says is that the purpose of pension is not to give you your money once. Pension means regular income for a specific or non-specific period of time. That can be 18 years. That can be less than that. That can be 15 years. Do you understand? Now, if, if I decide to give you your money, then the scheme is no longer Pension Reform Act. It will not be M Block, M Block, or One Off Reform Act. Do you understand? So it's, it's pension. It must, it must be like that. Do you understand? The, the issue is that I think the question you'll be asking that what can I do to have substantial amount of money in my account when I retire at age 70 so that? I can get something substantial every month. And that should be the question. Thank you. Okay. Eh? Which question is that? Okay. 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 What, what do I need to do? <laughs> I just, no, I just explained that. You need to, apart from what Redeem is doing right now, which may not be enough, but if, if for example, you have like 30 years to work, for goodness sake, I, and they're contributing 50% 50, 50 of your salary. My brother, that, is a, that, that would be a good money when you're living in the next 30 years. That would be a good money. But if you feel that will not be enough, I want to live the way I want. Why don't you start adding something to it? That's the additional voluntary contribution. Start adding something to it so that when you're living in the next 30 years, in the next 20 years, you have something substantial that you can take. That's, that's the answer to the question, sir. Okay. <laughs> so how many minutes do you have? More? No minutes. Okay, good. Zero, zero minutes. <laughs> so that means we are... Okay, let's go take this then. Excuse me, sir. Okay, ma'am. Somebody that's... a husband... Yes. ...is dead. Okay. But formerly, he was work... I mean, one of the minister. Okay. A full-time minister. Yes. How can she have access to her husband's... Uh... Thank you very much. In fact, that is a very, very good question. I'll tell that. Now, for deceased account holders, if you are working and... Well, we don't, we, don't, we don't like that statement, but somehow it happens. And one is late. How can the beneficiary get the money? Nest of Cain... Or do you understand? Now, what you need to do is, if you are working, redeem as 
your employer will have to have something they call group life with an insurance company. And if they like, if they don't want to have it, that means they have so much money. Insurance only, for insurance, you pay premium. Do you understand? If you don't decide not to have insurance company, that means they don't want to pay premium. They want to start paying the summer short. Now, what that premium is for is at if, if, if an active employee dies, redeem or the, or the insurance company that's supposed to pay three times minimum, three times annual salary of that late staff. Minimum of three times of that late staff salary must be paid into his retirement savings account. That's what the law says. It's mean some organizations do five times. So that money must be paid. It's called group life. For some company, they insure it. They just pay a little premium to the insurance company. Insurance company take the risk. But some organizations decide, well, I don't want to give any risk out. I will be my... I will take the risk myself. I, if, 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 if there's any case of death, the organization will have to pay that money at least three times of the total salary. Now, how, do that, how will the beneficiary get that money out? The beneficiary will get it if they provide some very vital document. Number one of, the doc, of those documents is called a will or letter of administration. Letter of administration, you get it from a high court. The letter of administration will specify the beneficiary. This money for Mr. A and B should go to beneficiary A, B, C. And those are the people we pay the money to. In your will, if you have a will, your will will have stated who your beneficiary will be. You stated, my son, uh, this is A, is entitled to get this. this. You understand? Those are the people we pay the money to in case of a will. So if you don't have a will, you have to go, the beneficiary or next of kin will go to the, to the high court and get us a letter of administration, and that will form the basis of who the money will be paid to. Additional documents for processing that debt benefit is, is certificate, certificate of death. If there's any poster, we need the, we need the uh, next of kin to fill some form. We need an estate account to be opened. Estate account is an account opened for the three people. The three beneficiary must open that account together. It's not that one will open, one will, another one will open, and the money will be paid into one, uh, one, of, the, one of the beneficiaries' account, and there will be, be serious fight. We try as much as possible to safeguard ourselves from any legal problem. That's why that administration must come from a high court. We confirm it that it's origin, that it originated from the high court before we make that payment. No, no. No, no, it may be more than three people. It can be one person. I'm just using that as an example. The law, the, the, the court will specify who and who the beneficiary will be. And those are the people we pay the, the money to. Do you understand? And they must all open one account. And that money will be paid into the account opened by other three, other one, other four, five people. Praise the Lord. My question is almost similar to hers, but okay. it's different. Let's say the, after the man has retired, okay. the old contribution is spread for 18 months. Yes. After 18 five years. 18 years. At least. Uh, at least. No, but for 70, it will be less than that. Okay. My for 18, 18 is for, years. For somebody is 60. And the man has uh, joined just five years out of those 18 yes. years. And the man is dead. What happens to the balance? Every cobble that is left in that man's account plus interest will be paid back to the beneficiary after fulfilling all those the same process I just, I, just, I just described now. Yes. It's a subject of litigation. Okay. That's a very good question. And that is why, we, for if the letter of admission is subject of litigation, that's why we have to get that letter of admission from a high court where the, the RSA holder was living before he died. A very good... Please take note of that. If the RSA holder, and I can't hold that list in Lagos, mm -hmm, and they do, woo -woo 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 -woo, they, they got a letter from a, a Doe State High Court, that letter of amputation will not, will, not, will, will not be taken. 
that administration must be from a high court in Lagos State. After getting that letter of admission from a high court in Lagos State, we go back behind that man. We go behind him and go to that same high court and meet them. Mr. A and B just gave us this document and he said the document is from you. Can you please confirm it? They confirm it by stamping and giving us an evidence that that letter of administration is from them. So if there's any legal issue later, with all those evidence, we are covered. Uh. Mm. Okay. The fact there's there's no relationship. They, 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 in fact, for example, it could be friends. For example, I can decide that my next of kin is is one Mr. Ajangbadi in, in my Duguri. Do you understand? If I die, that is the man that is responsible that that should come forward and process my letter of administration. But that his name may not be in the letter of administration. The name that will be letter of administration, direct beneficiary, but that is not our problem. The court will decide who the beneficiary should be and who the beneficiary should not be. That is not our All we need is a letter of permission from the court and we can go back to that court and confirm that it's truly from them. <sighs> In fact, they told me that I don't have any time left to Okay. Yes. Exactly. We, in fact, the, it's, it's a very good question. The new law have done something very beautiful. If you retire, if you retire, say in March, if you have all your documents in March. By the end of April, you should get your money in your account. In the new scheme, there's no check payment. It's not that you issue a check, Mr. A, Mr. A, Ujo. No. The money will be paid into an account. And that account is not a community bank account, or it must be clearing account. I mean, clear all these clearing banks, one of 25 banks. That money will be paid into that account. Now, what that means is that you don't, you don't even see my face. I've paid money to somebody in America. Without even seeing him, all the he sent his, his scan of his form to me. Scan his part of photograph. I printed his part of photograph. I, I I verify with what I have in the house, and his money was paid into his account. I don't need to see him, so you don't even need to see. You don't need to see us to get your money, but you know because but because we're in this system, you still need to come to me, give me your passport photograph. I confirm with it. So that's why the passport you are filling now is very very important because I will I will call, I will check this passport when I want to pay you in the next twenty years. I will check your signature you're giving me now when I want to pay you in the next 20 years. So those are the checks I do in-house to be sure that you are the same person I'm paying. Do you understand? So the, the new system has reasonably removed a lot of stumbling block in, 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 that delays the payment. But we also need to come back to redeem to confirm if they are owing you any money. That takes some time. That, 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 that delays the process a little bit sometimes. But apart from that, it's a very, um, it, it, it takes a shorter, shorter period of time to get your money paid. Well, I think um, uh, we have been able to um, answer um, uh, some of the questions. Some of the questions you, uh, you raised, like uh, Funshaw said, Funshaw giving you her phone number, you can reach Funshaw and Funshaw can always reach me. If you want my phone, I have, some, I have cards here, I will give to some people, I will give to some people. Um, I give them my card, and my phone number is also there. You can reach me too. If there are any issues, you need, you need. I should call my phone number. My phone number is 0806 0806 447 3083. 0806 447 3083. My email address is Sunday. Ade doing Sunday dot Ade doing Ade doing Sunday is common Ade doing is A D E D O Y I N at A R M Pension dot com. 
You can send me an email. You can, if you want to know anything about what we discussed today, if you want further uh, clarification on any issue, please you can get back to me on, uh, on my phone number or my email address. Thank you very much.